If your mythic points become 0, you will now go back to Legend 1, 3 stars. If they manage to come back to mythic, they will no longer play 10 placement games. They will start at 30 mythic points. This is good news since mythic 5 is getting crowded with players who doesn't care. Masha's bonus attack speed when losing HP is reduced. Her lifesteal bonus on the last HP bar decreased from 20% down to 10%. To give you an idea, we compare the stats of Masha when she is on her third HP bar. On original server, her attack speed is 1.43 and lifesteal is 30%. On advanced server, her attack speed is 1.37 and lifesteal is 20%. It's quite a big nerf to Masha's stats when she is at her third HP bar. And then there is the slower energy region to activate her last skill. In short, it's bad news for Masha users. One fatal blow a nerf on Lee's physical attack stats. We compare the stats of the current Ling with the new one at level 15. His second skill now has a fixed energy consumption. At late game, the skill will now consume more energy. A nerf on Irital's attack speed group. You bear Aside my from that, all attack speed stats from emblems and items will be reduced to 80%. It's like Bruno's passive where all attack speed gained is reduced by 80%. Here is the stats of a level 15 Irritel on advanced server and original server. You cannot bear my I'd say this is a big nerf on Irritel. Kaja's base HP is reduced from 2,609 to 2,459. Baksha's first skill stun duration has increased. It's not your fault being the stun is now 1 second without the need to jump from his first skill. If you jump, the stun duration becomes 2 seconds. My words weigh. As much as my weapon. Just feel my heart. The, the second skill is now wider, which means it's easier to hit the target. It's not your fault being defeated by me. Baksha's ultimate now has a slow effect of 30%. You have slain an enemy. Baksha just got a lot stronger in this update. From an unyielding will. Longer stun, wider second skill, and now his ultimate has a slow effect. Brotherhood. If you need a, a new tank, Baksha is going to be a good pick once this update is applied. I sense spark flying! It's not your fault being defeated by me. Alpha's second skill now has a fixed cooldown of 6 seconds. Belric's passive now only needs 50 damage instead of 100 to activate. They also adjusted the cooldown to activate from 0.2 to 0.5 seconds. His second skill damage is adjusted from 600 down to 450 at max level. His ultimate's immobilized now lasts for 2 seconds. Overall, I think this just made Belric even stronger because of the longer duration. Good news since we'll have more tank options like Baksha and Belric soon. Some adjustments on Carmilla's damage and heal on her first and second skill. Killing spree, double kill. 
Silvana can now use Flicker while casting her second skill. Remove the knockoff effect on her ultimate, but it now can slow when deal AoE damage. And it now has a bird animation that holds the enemy in the circle. The light shall be A new Only hero named Cecilia. Watch her previous video for his skills. Just like the moonlight. Killing the observation turtle now gives a healing effect around you. Your hero allies and even nearby minions can be healed. It also gives mana regeneration. We both know there is no end for us. Night in. Four new Not hurricane coming. wards added in the jungle. Why are you so cold and pale? Our turret has been destroyed. Step on it and it will slide your hero to the direction you're heading. Blood for blood after a year. We both blood for blood. And it's official guys, this jungle buff is now called purple buff according to the patch notes. My Carmilla, why are you so cold? They adjusted the mana and energy reduction of this buff for all roles. Your team destroyed a turret! They adjusted the extra damage to jungle monsters when using jungle items. Tier 3 jungle items now has a huge 50% bonus damage. The turtle will now spawn at 3 minutes instead of 2 minutes. This means Living the Lord will spawn after it's nine not minutes. A blessing, but a curse. We both know. Flame Shot still has no knockback, but it now life? has a stronger slow I effect. Brace it. From 30% to 60% slow, and its duration is increased to two seconds. Weaker heal effect for the spell revitalized. Night falls, yet love stays still. Shorter movement speed duration for the spell arrival. Slow effect is also reduced when you hit enemies with basic attack after using arrival. More heal after using the spell Vengeance. Adjustment on the calculation of shield. If only I could forget the past. I tested this on both servers and I still didn't see any difference. The stars are my beacon. A new setting called Ultra Graphics. The water in the river is now moving and there are fishes too. The water is also flowing on these walls. Pointless conflicts lead to A new event for trio teams, still not sure what it does.
you now have an option to install arcade modes to consume less space on your phone. This is good since if you don't play those modes, you can choose not to install them. Last one is the new arcade mode, Magic Chess. In the world of Kung Fu, the storm it's similar to Chess TV, but it's Don't going to be try. played on a board. So, which part of the update did you Everybody like the most? Let me know what you guys think about this update in the comment section.